The, the last thing is all, it's also tied into the CARES Act, going to be the, just the regular 7A, SBA 7A loans. And, you know, we can help folks with startups. So if, you know, you qualify, you can get a startup SBA 7A loan. If you're an existing business and you're looking for working capital, expansion capital, if you're looking to purchase commercial property, you know, it has to be 51% owner occupied on the commercial property. But 7A loans are, are really good loans, loans on a normal basis. The re- interest rate is prime plus uh, 2.75. So right now combined, it's about 6% interest for those loans. And the SBA incentive, uh, two things. Number one, they're increasing their, the guarantee to the banks from 70% up to 90%. So it makes it easier for the bank to release that money. And two, they're offering um, up to eight months of your loan paid. So that, that's not payment deferred, but they're actually going to pay the monthly payment for eight months on the note. And that's an incentive for businesses to, to, to launch, you know, to start businesses at, you know, purchase, act, you know, acquire existing businesses, start a franchise, you know, and we can definitely help you with all of those, those things. So it's a great opportunity and a great time to, uh, to plug into these incentives to start, launch or expand and grow your business. Very cool. Awesome. Appreciate that. Anything else on that? Different banks. So you understand when it comes to SBA, whether it's PPP or a regular SBA 7A loan, um, ultimately the bank is lending their money and then they're reimbursed by SBA on a later date, right? So when because of that, you could talk to five different banks and get five different stories as far as requirements and expectations. Um, you know, on a 7A loan, some banks are, will not touch you. If you're a startup, they, don't, they won't even talk to you. You have to have two years tax returns, and two years time in business. So they won't even offer it to startups, but there are banks and, and we work with them that will offer startup funding uh, through SBA. Um, and some of them won't work with you if you're looking for less than 350,000. And then I have some banks that only work with you between 50 to 150. So every bank is different. And if you talk to a bank and you get declined, chances are you're just talking to the wrong bank Um, and, um, you know, that's where we come into play because we can, we can help you, you know, streamline, make sure that you're qualified and make sure that you're actually speaking to the right bank, um, based on where you are in the country, your industry, you know, your ability to, uh, put down a a deposit, have your cash reserves, collateral, there's all these variables that come into play. And again, every bank you talk to may have different criteria. And so if you get let down or turned down by one bank, don't assume that every bank is going to have the exact same criteria. 